Like many central Georgia areas, Elko and Helston County started off as a railroad town at the turn of the century. Tonight, Suzanne Lawler goes off the beaten path to show you why a series of events doomed downtown Elko, leaving behind just a few bricks and a few memories of the past. Oh, if the trees and the walls could talk. They would have to tell stories of the past because today Main Street Elko looks like a ghost town. The hitch and post was here when the bank was built and the hit is grown up in the tree. That's where they tied up the horses when they came in the buggies. Debbie Prater and Ellie Loudermilk helped to write a book on the history of the area. Debbie had firsthand knowledge because she grew up on these streets. The Bank of Elko opened for business in 1905. About 40 years later, Debbie's family took it over. In 1943, my granddaddy came here from Taylor County because the bull weevil had broken him from farming. He opened it up as a general merchandise little grocery store. Debbie remembers Elko bustling with activity as opposed to dust just taking root on the shelves. There were gas pumps here. We had a kerosene tank over here. The checker table was set up over here. People were in and out all day long. I can see all the empty houses now. The trees have grown up. The bushes have grown up. The people have come and gone. There's a few reasons for the migration away from the area. A tornado hit early in Elko's history. Remember that bull weevil? Well, it swept through in 1915 with a vengeance. And two separate fires ignited from sparks off the railroad and burned most of the town's buildings. You know, there was no immediate water supply. They had no fire department. And so it took its toll on the town and the town basically is no more. Ellie says she's sad the place never really had a chance to grow. You know that people sunk their fortunes and their lives into a little town like this and they were so proud of it. And some still are. This is just my home and I do love Elko. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Now there are signs of life in Elko. Like we said, dozens of folks still call it home. There are two active church congregations and every now and then they will have an Elko mud bogging event. And another interesting fact, when the railroad was running and the depot stood in Elko, a round trip ticket from Macon to Elko cost you $1.45.